seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. Sounds like last night. Perry. Sounds like last night. surface of the land, roots track water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different but no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. <laughs> the American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert. But over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this layer. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead.
to help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. I love these little pineapples. Just starting to grow. Are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. Living a pineapple under your sheet. Fun about square pants. Oh, I forgot I was recording. Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of you, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Please remain filled at all times. While others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. 